All right. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, back to the uh, back to the great, great, great moth project. So that's good. So yeah, it's gonna be a big giant bird again with moth wings because that's how it's gonna be looking for so uh, for now on. Um, I hope you all are gonna be enjoying this. And uh, anyway, uh, let's get starting. <laughs> ah, well, today is gonna be good because you know. I'm gonna be drawing again, so that's good. And we're gonna be. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Not that difficult. Not too difficult. So. Last time we finished up this one, and now we need to continue with this. Um, so. I'm gonna do that. And. This one is a little bit harder for me to control because of the. Because I have the mouse a little bit way away, a little bit away from the keyboard. Maybe I should shove it out a little bit. Nah, that doesn't work. Well, you know, that happens. Anyway, um, to continue with doing this, I need to figure out like where should I draw. Well, the first thing is we need to have this thing back again. So I need to keep in mind how to draw these things, and then want to know like, hmm, where should I draw it? Where should I draw the line with them? Like, should I keep the wings like this? Well, I know that the wings need to be like that amount and that amount, so I'll keep it that way. But I need to remember that I have the other wing as well. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of problem here because I need to split this out. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to split this out. And eventually, you know, the wings supposed to be arriving correctly, so that's good. Do we have the hard enough? Wing pattern. See, this is this is really hard. So that's not what we want. We want to actually keep it on. We want it to have it on the soft touch. So yeah. Here you go. And now we need to figure out like where do we want this? So this is the wing, and then you know this is going to be spreading out like that. This is going to be spreading out like that, and we need to go over here and figure out how to do this because this is a real hard, really hard thing to do because we have this nerve that needs to be split up again. And I know this, this place is going to be split up, but I want to know that I want to do it naturally, so that's going to be the hardest part of it. So let's see. So this is wide enough, or is this gonna be still the same length? Yeah, it's gonna be the same width. Width. So can I make putting that on, removing these boundaries? Very important. So yeah, hey blue. Nice to see you, Johnny. In the chat again, so yeah, working on the bu uh, working on this beautiful wing. It's it's hard, but you know, it pays good. It's honest work. <laughs> also, everybody at home is gone today, so there should be no interruptions or any distractions at all. They all went to the hospital. My mom needs to have a check again, so gonna have that happen again. So no need to worry about that. Just gonna do a double check if something happens. But yeah. I think I have now the right amount of feathers, right? Now I have the right amount of feathers there. Let's see. So if I have it like this, that it should that should work, right? Yeah, because then it splits off here and then I have like over here done, yeah. That should work. It's gonna be looking strange. 
from that from this point of view it's gonna be look strange because you have these feathers over here and they all look look all the same. I need to make sure that once I'm doing this, I need to once I'm doing the texture rise per, uh, for, uh, thing, I need to make sure that I distinct everything from what is and what is not. So before I will do the la fourteen layer again, I will make sure that I have that done. I'm doing it on the wings, right? Yeah, I'm doing it on the wings because the wings is this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. So that's good. Ooh, baby. So yeah, working on the wings, working on the feathers, have myself a blanket with me to wipe off any grease or spit that I'm spitting out from my mouth. I always talk with consumption. But yeah. Okay, man. Uh, this is hard to make this look natural. I forgot I need to put these feathers a little bit more sharpened up instead of these uh, st uh, stop ones. I don't want to have stop feathers. They don't work well. Well, they work well, but they don't work well enough. So once these feathers are done, I think I will be able to do it correctly. Well, these parts of the wings are a little bit less stubbed than the, well, a little bit less big than the other ones. But they should be fine, and I'm considering this a, as a bird. Once this is, because this is a bird, it should be fine enough. Just need to make sure that I'm not um, decreasing the size of how the feathers behave. So I should not, you know, put tiny feathers in, big feathers in, you know. Should keep a consistency of many feathers I'm using, but not all the time because otherwise it will look too simple and too plain. There you go. But yeah, once these feathers are done, I can then finally focus on the. Um, what do you say? I can I can then focus on the part. You know, once these feathers are done, I can focus them on the part when the midsection of it, and then I can connect it to both sides. It should be, it should be done like within an hour because of this time I have less space to cover. Though I don't know, could be done in an hour, maybe not. But that's just my drawing. You know, my drawings are like always this long because you know drawings are a little more, a little bit more difficult for me to do. Because you know, I like to keep on texturing it, and all that stuff it needs to be done first before I can even do the coloring, uh, coloring of everything. So, yeah, texturing goes before coloring for in my book. So that's why. And then first, there's gonna be a base color because this uh, this program likes to merge colors with each other. So I like to do first a base color so that everything is colored in, and then no transparency is there, and then I can go for the shading. So I will go for lighter blue or brighter blue or whatever color I want. Probably gonna be going for beige or something like that. Yeah. Is that a fine enough line? Yes, that's a fine enough line. Good. Have I used five? Uh, did I use the five size pixel? Yes, I have. Good.
Come on. There you go. It should be fine. Need to darken this up because otherwise I won't see it. Yep. Right over here, I need to darken it up a little bit. Just like that, I have created the feathers. So yeah, the feathers are actually quite looking fine if I'm correct now. So if I'm now looking at the feathers itself, it should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, they have the same texture as the other ones. Good, 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 good. Well, not everything, but they have the same effect of it. Eee, no, 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 no changing. No changing color, not pressing the button again. So yeah, um, it's already 15 minutes in, and you know it gets it gets pretty well fast done. But you know it has a lot to go because we need to do like every single one of them, just to make sure that I'm not you know, um, so that it all has a different texture on the middle section. So don't get confused there. But the good news is that we don't need to do every single one of them because, you know, we're not working on that part of the wing. So. But yeah, every single baby step we do, the better it gets. The better the artwork gets. And then once it all is done, when everything is drawn, I can then finally start coloring it in with colors, like in the book project. And then, you know. Then I can do the shading, and then I can do adding some more stuff to it. And then I will be a very happy person. But you know, that all takes time. Time and effort. And that time we have. We have all the time here. We are just wanted to get this thing done and finished. So we're not doing anything here. We're just doing, you know, one hour each day. Working on it. And eventually it will get better at it. Everything will get better. 
I did a little bit more texturing than usual in the picture for the next video. You think, uh, think you will be proud of me? Of course I will be proud of you. Come on, who doesn't, who doesn't, who doesn't like your drawings? Your draw, your drawings are great. They look so, they look so cute. Also, I like, I like the art style it's, uh, itself. The things that you can draw, I can't. You know that that's the main reason. Like I can I can draw things, but I cannot draw like humanoid humanoid people. I cannot draw them correctly because of the uh, I have never practiced like you know the face, nose, mouth, and always going to be looking like this. Uga booga, you know that kind of face. I'm going to mo most likely draw. Instead of you know, instead of the beautiful eyes with yes, and then be like yes, mm, yeah, like I can draw those things. I can draw goofy, but I'm not. I cannot draw like serious-looking, quite good-looking human faces. So yeah, I would say that you draw good. So. I have no problem saying that. No problem at all. Also, I like the textures on the uh, uh, work you did with the wood and the shading of it. So you uh, you draw this shadow by copying it itself and then turning it into black, which was actually a quite smart move. Also, I like that horror story. It was really really bone chilling, to think the least. It gave it gave a lot of questions, but also it answered a lot of things. So it was a very lovely story. Thank you. Glad you liked it. Yeah, no problems. No problems. No problems, Blue. Come on. Yeah. Fix that part up, fix that part up, fix that part up, and then you go. Yeah. As I thought so. The uh, feathers don't look well, they are stumped. I knew it. I knew it. I called it, I knew it, and I knew it. I call it, therefore, you know, that deserves me and pride and hell of I told you so.
What is here going on? That's not good. So let's see. So we're almost halfway with that, and then we almost can go back to the wing itself. Nice. That's the dead swing. But it really has been a super inspiring to watch how much care and detail you put into your work it makes me want to rush, want to rush less. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you know, if you rush it, if you rush a thing, you know, it's never good. That's that's the main reason why I never rush. You know, if I want to have an artwork done, I rather want to just do it on the easy way. Like you know, I know that I can draw like three hours. I can draw three hours, but if I do that, then well, you know. It would be very terrible for me because you know you will go under stress, you might be forgetting things and overlook things, and so that's why I always just keep it to one hour. But if you add up all the hours that you do on it for one hour, you know, you if you add them up, you add them, you get a big giant number of hours that you worked on it. Like you know, if you have done 60 videos upon it. You know, you know that there are 60 hours inside of this work. This is probably gonna be 60 videos or more because I also gonna record the drawing, which I'm doing now, right now, which also causes a lot of things. So it's gonna be like 30 hours drawing, 30 hours of um, uh, coloring, then texturizing is almost five to six hours, and then you know, finishing up the shading. Adding up, adding some things more up, adding environmental things like, you know, a tree or whatever it's supposed to be in, or particle effects, whatever. You know, all these things. If you add them all up and you all put them in one hour, you know, you might not get far in that one hour. But if you add them up constantly and you know that you're doing it all the time, you know, every single day you're gonna do one hour of drawing, you know, you get better at it, you get faster at it, but you also know how to draw. So then the detail, the loss of detail will no longer be an issue. Because if you want to rush things, then you know, it sucks. Honestly, it really sucks, if, uh, if I may say so myself. If I rush things, then you know, things won't look very well. But I always have to I always have the problem that I'm not finishing things up. Like, you know, I did something and I don't and I don't finish it. You know, that's my problem. So this is why where this one hour comes in, you know, because I know that when in one hour my spirit is not broken, so the next day I'm like, "Hey, what you going to do today?" Well, I'm going to do the same thing all over again. What then? Oh, I'm just going to draw this project and I'm like, "Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing that I want to do today." So my spirit is not broken, and that makes me happy. Also, it creates a lot of, you know, good um, creation. Although it creates, eh, it creates a good way of, you know, knowing how to do things. Because if I don't do it like that, then you know, sometimes it, there, there, words, very difficult. The same goes for my writing part. It's like I wrote something and I'm like now like mm, 
I'm a little bit stuck there because I don't know if I'm doing it gr if I'm do not doing a great job or whatever. But you know, I'm happy to wait. You know, I'm happy to wait for some feedback or some you know talking whatever. You know, it it helps a lot. Oh hey Nick. I'm doing great. I'm drawing. I'm drawing bloody damn fattest. That's what I'm doing today. But yeah, that's the lovely thing about it, you know. Oh, I'm glad you're doing. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good. Finish Spanish test. Nice Spanish. Ah, positive vibes in general are very important. Hey Nick. Yeah, Spanish. I went to Portugal. It's the people in Portugal always say that Spanish and Portugal are almost alike, which I'm quite surprised about that Spanish and Portugal is, uh, is alike because you know it's close to each other, but still there are some differences. But yeah, I was in Portugal once on a holiday vacation with my mom and dad and my little sister, which is always not nice to have a vacation planned. Oh no! I did a ro no! I did a problem. I did a problem, right? I did a problem. <laughs> Come on, mouse! It's really hard to find your mouse, you know, when you're trying to do something blind. It's uh, well, not blind. I mean, it's sometimes very hard to find your mouse when you're trying to draw and be like, eh, where is it? Where is it? I need to change. I need to change directions, you know. Uh, let's see this. This. There you go. This. 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 And right here. Yeah. That's all. That's all I need. And go back in. There you go. And now it stays on the map. Now it stays on the thing, and now I can switch back. There you go. What I just did was actually change up the hardness a little bit by going over it with a very terrible gum. It's a gum that actually changes up the uh, transparency, so it's a very terrible gum to uh, to remove things with, but it is very gentle upon removing. So it's technically soft removal, instead of you know the harsh removal that normally co comes around and goes around, which is quite nice. And now I need to go back here in, and then I can go here. I can draw the feather right there. I can draw the feather right there. Eee. Sometimes the feather doesn't go well. It doesn't matter that much. It matters that the representation of the nerve is there. Or well, you know, at least some of it. Also, sometimes I did not draw too hard, so I need to fix that. Right here, right here, right there, right there. Here you go. Like here's a problem. Here's a problem. There's a problem. So, yeah, sometimes the feather doesn't work well, and I need to use the gum soon because of all of this. So that means that I did not draw correct. I did not do it in the correct way. I need, normally it's supposed to go like this. This way, the uh, I have a harsh brush on top, and then yeah, that's much like it. So sorry that you all can only see like a little bit, like pixels and all that stuff. But you know, it's very important to do that because otherwise I won't be able to draw correctly. Because it's really hard to fill them in when you have no, no, well, have a little mouse or well, a little pencil, you know. So if you want to put something in, it's really hard to do because you know you have a little bit of space. But and I need to do this, and I need to do it softly. So there you go. That should be fine. Oh uh, yeah, I always keep it to you know 60 with the gum and then five at the pencil size. But if I change it up here, then I will never get to five again. So that's why I did it with the with the dots. With the dots, I also can type it in, which is quite handy, dandy. All right, don't forget lock out, lock in. There you go. So I will be no longer be able to draw on this beautiful place, but I am now able to draw here. 
So I can now draw over this, and then if I go over here, I can just remove it again. Now look how terrible this gum works. It's very annoying. That's why I always have it like that. So, first things first, go back to the big brush of gum. And then, oh wait, it's safe the size? Oh jeez Louise, no. I want to go back to 50. So now I can just erase here, but you know, I will be able to save draw. Now I need to make sure that I have this done. Alright, the first ones are very important to do. So what is the size of these things? The size of these things are this. Like that. Boom. Baby. Right, that now a little bit more a little bit more bigger. It doesn't matter actually. The first the first one doesn't matter actually. It is more like coming in and coming out like because it is natural to, you know, stretch out and stretch in. So I just need to make sure that I keep that in mind. So now I need to change up directions because I'm going up instead of going wide. So I need to keep up the directions like that. And I need to keep up with the directions, so nothing will be confusing. And just like that, I'm filling in the gap with this pattern right over here. It's not very easy to do because, you know, I always need to keep a straight uh, hand upon it. But one, but my right hand is like I am left-handed, so I cannot do anything with my right hand because this uh, screen isn't interacting. Those things cost a lot, by the way. If you didn't know, if you want to, uh, you know, wanna, if you ever want to have a tablet that you know is interacting, interactable st uh, screen, I know that you can buy them for like three thousand euros. So that's like a lot. In my book, it's a lot. You know, I don't know how much people normally earn, but I think it's like around two thousand, three thousand a month in a normal country. So you know, I don't have that much of a payroll. You know, being that guy who just you know lives from a medium wage, it is. I have all the time of the world. That's 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 the fun part. Like I don't have to work, but I have medium wage anyway. So that's like maybe two thousand max uh, a month but yeah I always keep up reserves so that's that's good to know but yeah n that's why I went with this one because you know it's like this one cost me seven hundred if I'm correct this tablet and it responds as good as the uh, it responds really good and really well with my drawing so if I draw a circle the circle 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 you know it responds really quickly and really fast also the um, also the um, the program also responds really fast with it so I'm very happy about it so I can actually I know what I draw the only downside is like my PC I still need to upgrade someday again because I won't actually have better processing power so that I can go for like instead of 300p I can then go oh well 300 dp I can then go for like 600 or 500 so that the uh, amount of you know dpi that I'm using the pixels per diameter per nay diameter per pixel or something like that what it's called I don't know it can create more uh, sharpened edges so my edge will be more sharpened like a horn on a rhinoceros you know Rrr, rhinoceros yeah the magical unicorn so yeah um that's what I'm doing now like you know I'm I'm just waiting for money to come in and then you know get everything done pay my taxes even though you know I don't even have much taxes at all but I still have some taxes but yeah um I'm just waiting and keeping my money safe so that uh, you know one day I will be able to buy some uh, up, uh buy my upgrade again and then you know continue from there on but you know everything is fine there because you know 
It's not like a lot I need to buy. It's just like what, 500 or something? 500 or 1000 euros I still need to buy to upgrade, but you know, I'd rather wait two years and then just do a full upgrade again. You know, better graphic card and the processing power is gonna be increased. And buy myself some more storage uh, containers for the uh, for drawings to save in, because you know these things call these things almost have one gig of uh, uh, yeah of space needed, which is acceptable. You know, you're drawing a lot of things at one time, and that makes a thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. As I told before, it's it's expensive in my book. Like three thousand euros is expensive. And then I was like, I w I always go normally. I go to a three D uh, a three D congress. Oh, I, yeah, three D congress. I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, these congresses are all about three D modeling and three uh, D programs and three D printers. So you have people that, you know, do modeling in 3D, so, you know, sculptures or uh, furniture or whatever. And, you know, they work with tablets. So, one day, one day I went to the store, or one day I went to Congress and I met, you know, people that were, like, selling these tablets. And they were from, what? And they were from Make a Point, and I was like, well... Congratulations, me! I found the thing that I want, and I'm like, wait, what? Why do you want this? Hmm, I don't know. I need it for something, maybe. In the in 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 my years of experience, I need this. So yeah, that's how I bought it. Like, I want to do something with it, and if I want to learn something, I don't quit. I just accept the fate that maybe I will not be able to learn it correctly. And I need to take it slower, and so I did. I learned how to draw on this tablet by, you know, doing it step by step. And every single time I draw on this tablet, the first 17 or 50 things that I will draw on this tablet might look like a total horse, but, but, eventually things will look better. Because, you know, I always have drawn but always with pencil and gum and that you know that takes a lot of time it takes a lot of uh you know erasing a lot of erasing trust me it's so annoying to have a have a terrible eraser when you're working with pencil and paper but yeah eventually i got this uh sweet ass tablet on the control and i was like i can now control the winds and fire you know that's uh that's what uh, that's what my mind said. Like, yeah, you can do it, man. I believe in you. And I'm like, yeah, let's do this. So that's how I got into the tablet. And then eventually it was like, hmm, maybe I should just record it on, you know, because I need to put this on a portfolio. I'm like, you know, if I want to show people, like, what what do you do for a living and how do you draw? And I'm like, well, if I can show you it on YouTube, you know, it's way more quick and easier. You know, to get a job because you can just say like, "Hey, visit this, visit this channel," and you can see me drawing, and then you know if I'm, you know, be able to draw. So, I'm just using it. You know, I'm just using it like a portfolio so that I can connect, you know, my work towards my portfolio, and so that's why I put it on YouTube because you know, it helps a lot if people can see what you're doing. Also, it can also you can also show them really quickly how the end result looks like and how much time you have been doing it with. I came to the idea when uh, when I was working, well, when I had a how do you say that? Uh, not work, but the other one thing around internship. Yeah, when I had an internship, I came to the idea like, hmm, you know. It's really handy dandy that you have a portfolio, but it is really terrible if you constantly need to take your work, take your uh, hard on uh, your progress with you every single time. So I was like, if I want to do this digitally, I need to do it quickly and easy. 
So that's why I'm keeping like playlists of all the projects I'm doing. Like, if I know when the playlist comes, you know, I always try to put the whole playlist in, in and then, you know, get that done, fix the problem. Really good good idea to use pro as board. Oh, thanks, Nick. Thanks. Yeah, the the idea of that is actually quite handy dandy because uh, I solitated for a job in Utrecht and in Eindhoven and eventually, you know, uh, the woman that I spoke from Eindhoven was like, well, what do you do normally? And I was like, well, I'm, I draw like this. And she was like, well, I'm very impressed that you can draw like that. And she was very happy. So, um, when people are like, you know, impressed about the work I'm drawing, it's like, yes, I did it correctly. And she said, like, keep it up. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I will do that. So, yeah, eventually, you know, you get better at your job. So, but, you know, the, these times are a little bit difficult because, you know, all the bloody damn things that go around and, you know, you don't actually want... You don't want to actually have all of this problem going around, you know. This virus spreading everywhere. And so, you know, I'm now on a standstill of a stand... I'm now on a stillmate, you know, just waiting for, you know, new job opportunities to come around. I'm trying my best to do it, but, you know, I'm not in a hurry. I don't have a finance financial problem, you know. Even though I'm unemployed, I don't have a financial problem because I'm still making money, regardless of, you know, doing it not. So, because of the government. The government is my money. If I would work, I would get paid. If I don't work, I get paid. So, eh. But yeah, that's the most, most demotivating thing that I ever have done, you know. Because of the government actually pays me for doing nothing. But pays me the same for doing uh, doing something. It's really sometimes very frustrated to you know f try to find a job because you know like mm, I'm a little bit lazy. So oh shit, I did it the other way around. No, that's terrible. Don't do it that way. You will lose it. Lose it all. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. Fix that. Ooh. That was a close one. So yeah. The government actually, the government is actually quite well here, but quite well organized. So I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy because you know, if you didn't notice, I don't know if you can see it anyway, but uh, you know, 100% disabled. Woo! -hoo! That's me. Even though I have 100% disability, I can still be able to work and deliver something. But it needs to be a particular kind of job. But the particular kind of job is really hard to get because of all the problematical issues in the world right now. It's really hard to solidate and then you say like, hmm, do you want do you want to have an assistant or something to help you with your work? And I'm like, yeah, you should you should totally hire me, even though I need to tell you every single thing I have. So every single time I'm trying to solidate, I need to always inform the employer like, hey, I have this, I have this, I have this. And then they will be like, casually say hell no. So that's most likely my uh, state of how I always go to solidate. You know, be like very gentle and very kind. And then they realize like, holy shit, this guy has this. And I'm like, yes, I have this. And then people are like, oh, hell no, I'm out. That's most likely uh, my solidation when I'm trying to solidate for something. But you know. Eventually, I will get a. Eventually, I will get a job. Don't worry about it. Just take some time. Time some issues. You know, I have the time of the world, so I'll just will. I will just continue improving myself until I find a job that I want, which I'm getting there. I have my contacts, so that's why. Yeah, I could be. I could be on disabled if I want. Want, but I think it would be. It would be demotivating for me. So I work every uh, simple uh, entry job I can handle instead. Yeah, the downside of doing that, considering what my mind thinks, is like if I work below my intelligence. I'm very, I'm very sorry. I need to say this, but 
because my mind is like, if I were behind, below my, my intelligence, I will not accept my job. It's a very ignorant thing to do, but my, my, my mind is motivated by, you know, I can do this job. If I can find a job where I can just draw and design, it would be no problem. But as long as I don't have such a kind of a job, because as long as I don't have a kind of a job, I won't accept another job, unless it has been related towards my things that I have studied. So, if I would, you know, work at the McDonald's, which I can, trust me, I can do that, but I won't do it now, because, you know, all the things that are now going on that sucks balls. Um, I have worked at the McDonald's for a long time, like two years, and eventually I got so demotivated, like, I had a demotivation because I was actually doing work, and I eventually figured out, like, wait, they just do, let me do the jobs that nobody else wants me to do. Oh man, I'm being treated like trash here. So, eventually it got me demotivated. It got me so demotivated that I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Because it is a sucky job. And then I was like, wait, I don't have to work because I got paid for the same amount if I would go to work. So why should I go for a shitty job, feel miserable, or do nothing and be not feeling miserable? So that's the idea, you know, it's... it's uh, it's my mentality that sucks balls because you know it's very ignorant and selfish for me to think like you know um, not working is better for you it's it's not very handy dandy but eventually it will get I will get better at it I will get better at it but I'm trying to do my very best to find a job I'm trying to do my very best to earn what I'm getting so and I'm trying to always do, you know, do something for society in, in return, but sadly because of this corona, that also went to schmitterines like big time. Because volunteer work doesn't work anymore, because it is, because it's no longer, it can no longer be advised to do so because of all the uh, uh, things that are required. Like, you know, you can no longer do this, you can no longer do that, you can no longer do this, and then, you know, I'm like... Alright, so technically I cannot even visit anymore. Alright, thanks. You could have said that earlier. So, yeah. That's the most problems I dealt with, and I'm still dealing with. But yeah. I, uh... I try to do it anyway. I'm trying to do my very best at getting the best, at be the very best. I'm also learning from this experience, you know, I, I have learned from it, so I'm very happy. I also have seen worse situations than this. So, like, you know, I've seen people, friends, you know, go to, go from this point of stage, you know, be unemployed to rock bottom. And that sucks, by the way. That sucks so much. I That sucks so much, getting, going down to rock bottom. Oh, you don't want to be in rock bottom. Trust me. You don't want to be there. But yeah, eventually I will get better at it, and I try to do it good. So um, yes, uh, that was a conversation out of nowhere. Um, so what I, what, how is the how how is everything going on on your uh, your kind of the cycles uh, chat? How how is how are your days going today? Let's say let's put that way like eh. How's all? How's everything going? Because I would say like I'm doing fine right now. I'm drawing bloody damn feathers. <laughs> feathers for the win! Yeah, a feathery man. A grotesque uh, appeal. <laughs> I'm just like five hundred miles, and I just walk. Oh, oh, and, 
There you go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Save. <laughs> well, glad you're all doing well. Like that's uh that's good. Because you know, you always need to have good you always need to have a good day because it sucks to have not a good day. It really sucks. Ah. Uh, sneaky. Very sneaky indeed. I don't like to have sneaky boys. Schnecks. Blue snack. Mm. Did you know, by the way, that I went to Indonesia before? Um, with my little sister, I went to Indone Indonesia as a vacation with my little sister, and uh, we had a blast of a time. Uh, but we went to a restaurant, and you don't you don't want to know what was there, but it was so good. They had there they had fried bloody damn chicken legs. Oh. Those were good. So, you know, with the nails and fingers and intact, you know, literally finger chicken legs. So they were not chicken wings, they were not chicken chicken uh, drumsticks. No, 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 no. They were fried chicken legs. So I had I had the feet of a chicken and then I had it four times. So it were like four chicken legs for, uh, well, what was it? with toes and nails uh, for one euro so that's like very dirt cheap in uh, sweet chili sauce oh that was good stuff and I did not even get ill from it so it means that my tummy was very strong and very powerful yeah um, I went to Indonesia, Portugal, uh, Hong Kong uh, uh, I went to Norway, I went to Finland, I went to France, I went to Germany. Well, Germany is very, very, very close, but that uh, that still counts. That still counts. I went, I went to Belgium on vacations. I went to Ireland for vacations. I saw the Trinity College there, which was a quite cool thing because they had a lot of books there and very old books and the old books were all dusty and you cannot touch them and that's so fucking cool. They even they, are, they even have their translation uh, place where, you know, they try to translate all the old books in old, from old English to modern times and then try to rewrite then rewrite them so that, you know, the text doesn't get lost. It's so cool. It's so cool. But, yeah. I have been into a lot of places. I have seen a lot of things. I have seen the wall that has been put in uh, Hong Kong between the poor and the rich. You know, because it is a, it's a very English thing to do. So they still have it. And that was like in 2006. So, I have seen Hong Kong in 2006. I have seen Indonesia in 2000. Uh, 13 or 15, one of the things, but yeah, I've, I have been visiting around the world like, like Santa, you know. I've been visiting around the world and I always, I always eat everything, so I still want to go to Scotland just to get, uh, one day I want to eat haggis because, you know, I love exotic foods. Haggis, alright, come on. Something is pinging me, and I don't know what. I think it is six. Is it eight o'clock? It's close to eight. It's not over. Yeah, I have been all around the world almost. Hold on, something is pinging, and I want to know what what kind of dot it is. Uh, mute for one minute, please. Thank you. No, thank you very much. I'm gonna continue. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's take a look. Well, now that looks quite well. That looks quite well because you know it still has the curve of it. 
it still has the curve of a butterfly wing, so I would say that's a massive success in my book. So yeah, I have done it correctly. I have kept the parts apart from each other, so that's good. I still need to fix this one and this one, but uh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to do because it needs to be done, but uh, it needs to be so it needs to be done so that it doesn't look like it is being fixed. Oh, that th this one, this part is gonna be difficult. Also, this part is gonna be difficult to fix because you can see that the um, the feathers are not uh, are very blend in with the environment, so I need to fix that up. So I need to fix this. I need to restore this. So I think I will do that next time. So next time we're gonna focus on fixing this part and this part and this part, so that you know you have the drawing uh, better. What is bloody damn texting me? I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put it opening. There you go. All right. So yeah. Uh, next time we're gonna fix those things so that we need to really do, really. Eh. Next time we're gonna fix that, so we're gonna make sure that this part over here is gonna be texturized like this. So we're gonna make it sure that this works well, and we're gonna go for what what places also blend up. This part has also been blended in. So we need to make sure that this part is bl and no more longer bland. And I see that I need to do it here. So we're going to do some restorations. They're not going to be good restorations. They're going to be just the restorations so that uh, the distinction between both sides are still seenable and the, uh, the textures are visible correctly. So that's uh, that's what I'm trying to focus on next time because otherwise I will not be able to draw correctly so I'm trying to fix this I'm trying to fix that I'm trying to fix this part here so how I'm gonna do this how I'm gonna take this care of well we're gonna split it into little tasks so first task is gonna be this so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this on hold I'm gonna put this there and I'm gonna put it I'm just gonna put a second layer of paint in there what yeah paint layer blah 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 yeah there you go so, number one is gonna be this. Number two is gonna be, uh, and that's gonna be this part over here needs to be fixed. Uh, number three is gonna be this part. Number four is gonna be this. This needs to be done. Number five is this part, or right here, right there, and right there. So one. I'm gonna put it in good order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna jump from here to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. And we're doing this because otherwise we're doing this because we need to make sure that we are visible able to see the lines between well, we're not. We're seeing them, but we they are too blend in by the texturized. Um, they're too they're too blind. They're texturized, but they are too much uh, merged in. So we need to fix that up. We need to make sure that uh, the texture is still uh, seen able. So we need to make sure that that is all fixed up. I hope you understand what I'm meaning here, but. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna move this back on. We don't need it anymore. So we need to remove it. We don't need it. We don't need. Well, we can need, we can use it, but eh. We're gonna move it. We're gonna put it right on top so that we don't need to worry about it. So we have lax one, and we have this part. As you can see, we have a little trouble here because we actually fixed that with this part as well. So we need to be very careful when we're gonna do the once we're gonna do the the wings. We need to do this very carefully. As you can see, I made a mistake so, uh, somewhere between. I uh, haven't even been to Canada as fast as I have been away. It was West Virginia. I live in Mexican reference. 
I want to see him to remember it. Ah, damn. That's a shame. Busy wake. So, <laughs> nice. Very nice to hear that it didn't ruin your week. Spanish test. I always have problems with English and Dutch, but that's just me. Anyway, um, this is how far I got for today, so, did he? And tomorrow we're gonna, tomorrow we're gonna fix these little things, these little issues that we caused, because my drawing is not always on edge. And we need to fix that because, you know, it's very important that we fix the mistakes before they turn into big mistakes. And we need to do a big giant, you know, a big giant, a big giant uh, fix up. So the best thing is that I know that mistakes are, are made very quickly. And so, you know, it's very important that all the mistakes that you make, you need to fix them quickly. Otherwise, they're going to take a lot of time. And if you don't pay attention to your mistakes, well, your artwork or your work or your writing or whatever is going to be looking very messy and very terrible if you don't fix your mistakes, if they are essential. And I find this very essential because it is one of the things that, you know, is necessary to represent. I now can see that this represents a wing. But I need to make sure that the texturized, the texture on the wings are uh, visible. So I'm trying to, you know, uh, put more depths in it. So I'm trying to, you know, draw a little bit more rougher on it. So you know that it is a little bit more darkened in, not too dark, but darkened. So that's the idea. Anyway. I hope you'll enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching anyway, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye!